Was it one's thoughts that drew him to my dreams? Had I known it a dream, one would not have awakened. <laughs> I love that poem. Look at you running, you little penguin. Thank you. 
I look like a wet dog. <laughs> But I just, I can't stop myself from wanting to film right now because this, this book, <laughs> you don't understand how much I am loving this book. Um, People We Meet, We Meet? Yeah. People We Meet on Vacation, written by Emily Henry, who also wrote Beach Read. Um, yes, yes, the jury is out. And it's a yes, you are guilty of being my new favorite book. Actually, okay, I wouldn't go that far as to call it like a favorite book, but <laughs> the way that I've been laughing my butt off and the way that I am standing on my tippy toes right now, but yes, the way that this book makes me so stupidly, utterly happy. It's not even like, what is this? How can a book make me this happy and this existential at the same time? Because, okay, this story, we're following Poppy. The, she's our main character. She is this travel blogger and she has like 50,000 followers. She's like super famous and she just goes on trips. And she has a best friend called Alex, my main man, Alex. And they are like best friends platonically, but there's always like that 15% where she's like, I could jump his bones right about now. This story is told back and forth. So our first chapter starts with this summer, but then there are other chapters that's like 12 summers ago. So it goes back and forth between our current summer and like 12 summers ago, 10 summers ago, six summers ago. And we're seeing this budding relationship between Alex and Poppy. And then in the present, they haven't spoken in two years. And it's like, you know, the truth. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Like, I don't have enough words in my vocabulary right now to explain how much I'm loving this book. I love, I love every single second it's such an amazing book that i don't even want to stop and annotate i'm just like i want to devour this as fast as i can but also as slow as i can go because i know when this book ends i'm going to feel a hole in my body in my soul in my heart because these characters poppy and alex they just mean so much to me some of my pages did get wet which is unfortunate but Honestly, it fits the vibe of the book, so I'm I'm literally not sad about that at all because it's like vacation, I'm on a beach house. I'm living it, you know what I mean? This is like the perfect book to read here. Okay, this book has 361. I'm in 204, so I'm missing 150 something pages. I don't want to be missing that little, but at the same time, I can't wait to see where this story is going. Like, of course, I need some Alex and Poppy energy. I need some activity between them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm just loving this. I'm loving this so much. I'm so happy that I picked this book to come with me to this beach trip. I am guys i feel like i'm the last person to be reading this but if you're one of the few like myself that haven't taken the plunge to read people we meet on vacation a hundred out of a hundred a thousand out of ten i would recommend this because like i think i i really don't want to jinx myself but i think this is going to be a five star if you've been watching my videos for some time you know that i've been struggling to find a five star book i've been reading a lot of average reads like two stars three stars but this feels like a five star and i am so emotional because this this book reminds me why i love reading so much this book makes me want to shut myself in my room as i am right now and just read and i haven't felt like that in so long and it's insane and it's amazing and i love that i am documenting this experience so if you're currently going through a reading slump if you're currently struggling to remind yourself why you love reading so much take this as a sign that if you keep trying if you keep reading more books in search of your new favorite one you will find it and you will have so much fun and it's going to be amazing so yes these are my plans for today i'm going to go back to reading this piece of modern literature <sighs> it's 
so good. Okay, I'm gonna go now, but bye. A few moments later. <laughs> it's like the worst possible angle, but <laughs> listen, <laughs> this book, period. I just finished chapter 21 and you don't understand. It's like, <laughs> it's so good and I don't want it to end, but I do want to know what happens. Okay, I just had to, I was having a moment, but I'm not anymore, I think, so. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> I just swam for my life and I don't even know how to swim. I probably look yet again like a drowned chicken nugget, but I had, I had so much fun. Oh my God, there's fish here, hi. Legendary. Final thoughts of people we meet on vacation. It's the perfect summer read. I know summer is technically almost over, but it's just so perfect. I wanted to record this moment where I'm just like so giddy and so happy to be reading and in love with these characters and these people real life people not not that good compared to the people on this book but yes um, I'm just so stupidly happy over this book but now I am so excited to read this one which recently came in the mail and it sounds amazing because it's based on this Greek mythology of there being a fairy man in the afterworld when you die and apparently our main character falls in love with him <laughs> it's like a whole thing and I can't wait to see how the author mixes in parts of Greek myths and how she blends it into modern life so excited to read this and I'm just having loveliest day honestly it's so it's been raining because we had like two tropical storms back to back but it's divine don't know if you can see me <laughs> hopefully you can but yes so i hope you're having a lovely lovely day whenever you're seeing this and 
I probably need to get to the sun, I mean to the shade because I don't want to look like a burnt chicken nugget. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Keep going.